Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, as you can see, we're still on Hyperland and I've done some changes. I've added a settings bar here because honestly, the settings bar, the, the accessing the settings was kind of ridiculous. Having to go up here and click it and then having to click it again sometimes is not fun. So I made that change. The second change that I made, uh, as you can see, the top bar is finally transparent with blur. As, as well as other aspects are also transparent. I gotta work on this one. Uh, but yeah, having permanent settings button here is kind of nice and it works out pretty well. So let's go over a few things. So I've changed the settings a lot. I kind of added a lot of stuff as well. So if we go to top bar, you've got background transparency. So background uh, op opacity. Uh, see all this is normal here we go down you'll notice top bar border we could turn it off or on uh, we can also change its color if we need it to which is nice and we can also change the appearance I think that this looks a little bit better uh, widgets are primarily widget based and focused so yeah you never really have to worry and you could change the background opacity of the widgets as well if you need to which is nice. As for the dock, group apps is there, hide games. When, when the dock is open, games will no longer show. And yeah, I don't like that one on. Uh, the dock transparency is here. Gaps, icon sizes, I haven't done anything with this yet, but dock border is a thing. And uh, if we actually do this, it, it ends up becoming pretty big. So I'm actually gonna stick with four pixels, but I'm going to just make it so you can completely see the border see that and it also makes the dock end up looking better as well uh for the reason that you know you're able to actually change the colors but if we wanted to just completely turn it off uh we can do so i did actually find a setting that improved the transparency of radius and corners and uh it's called uh rounding underscore power I set both to 10 and it also fixed a lot of things with the rounding on these windows as well as you can see they're not that rounded now anymore because i reduced the effect uh the launcher now has more settings as well logo size you can now choose your custom logo if you want uh and i will add the ability to change the color when I have the chance so that you can actually change the logo color to whatever color you want. And in here, there's transparency for all styles of pop-ups and st stuff like that, right? Which is nice. Now for this, I need to get rid of this one and actually move this into widgets itself. But these other transparency settings are going to stay here. I'm going to add the ability to have transparency settings for everything, every single aspect just like I have it here. Now, these are minimal changes for now. It's just me cleaning things up, organize things, making things work, but it does work and that's what matters overall. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying this, this config a lot more than mine, uh, mainly because it's all pretty much here and done and adding to it just makes my life a little easier. Uh, so it's kind of nice. I might also build a couple of widgets myself that make me happy. So if I actually go and open up this, I made one major change that makes me really, really happy um, because the widget for the media would just scroll back and forth, scroll back and forth. And it was really annoying. And uh, if I hit play, say on this, you could see it, it no longer scrolls back and forth. Instead, it just stays there and it will automatically it's expand to whatever song you're using. So there we go. And if I find something like ridiculously long, like uh, in the 80s, there was some crazy ass stuff. Watch this. It's got to actually load the song first. Can I actually play that song? No, it's not going to let me. All right. Okay, I guess not. Uh, do I have anything in here? There we go. It will auto expand to the title's length. 
and it will always keep the buttons where they're supposed to be. So simple fixes like this are super important to maintaining a nice config and uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing my best to make that happen. Thank you guys for watching. I didn't know what to do today. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to figure out more stuff that I could end up talking about uh, in different types of videos. And we'll see how everything goes. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Oh, uh, hi, me again. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, you can become a member. Super affordable. Go take a look at it. There's a join button in the uh, just below this video. It really helps. Liking the video helps. Commenting helps. And so on and so forth. Bye-bye. All backgrounds are available on Bing Wallpaper Archive.